Okay, welcome back. Uh, for for the next video, I am going to create a virtual machine. Uh, the instance in my Google uh, using compute. So that the previous video, I have done the project creation already. And if you want, you can revise that number one and number two before in the previous video. Okay, I'm logging the Google again. Then I'm going to compute there. Then I'm going for uh, get my. Uh, you can go compute directly, create it there, or you can go for uh, iCloud Launcher there, and you select whatever OS you want. There's so many there, but I'm going with the ISO. So it depends how you want to create an instance here. At the end of the day, I'm going to get that version, okay, version six there. So I do another way, I base the default way. So I'm going here, compute engine. Create instance. It will take some time, right? So I'm testing here in CentOS 6.7 testing. Okay, and CPU there, use that default. I don't change them to see the dollar go up and down. So I just keep in US as magazine symbol for now. Okay, at that default, I'm going to change this to my uh, CentOS 6.7, 7.6. And then I'm ready to go. Select, click select OK at the end, and you'll be all right. Okay, then on other option, I'll leave it what it is. And of course, I'm allowed traffic here for my web setup later on. And click the button on uh, create it at the end, and you will see that. There, click on create it. There. It will take some time to, to complete it. It will take some time. All right, you take some time to wait and then we'll be finished your first virtual, um, for your first uh, VM instant. Okay. All right, so my OS is done now. So I'm going to connect them in here. Click on the link there, down there, my OS, my instance. Then I'm going to make a connection and using my Google Chrome, of course. Click in here, I open right in the browser to make things easy, so to make a connection in. It would take a, a couple, a maximum two minutes to complete this connection to generate the key from the browser on your computer, connect directly to the cloud, Google, Google Cloud. So there we go, the connection is done the job. So now you have it in, so now you connect it, and I'm ready for my next step. So before you go anywhere, I suggest as the testing and make your lives a little bit easier for administrator purposes. You try to make the path the sudo, make the, in, in, grant the root password, sorry. Make a symbol for now, and then you go through to root, and then work on from root for the next steps. Okay, so see you in the next video for um, install web server, and then enable web server and testing all that feature from web server. That's so the next one is a little bit uh, heavy. Okay, see you then.